Link is language integrated query and it's available with the uh, .NET framework and uh, it's it's available since .NET framework version 3.5 which means from uh, around 2007 and uh, it provides us uh, SQL like syntax to query any type of collection that is available that we can think of and uh, almost all types of collections we can use uh, link queries this is an example of link query that is applied on a list of uh, students student is a user defined class and we will discuss in this video that we can write link queries on this and this list, list contains only three students and we can write SQL style syntax and then everything is available inside this query I can select the properties through the object and uh, uh, I can filter out the results from uh, this list link is available and we can apply links on uh, almost uh, every type let's say for example we have an XML document that could be a collection of nodes we can use a link with the entity framework we can use with the SQL databases we can use this with any sources such as file system we can apply a link uh, the point is that we can use link with any type of collection whenever we have a collection we have an object collection let's say for example uh, link to objects is uh, this is an example of link to objects so whenever we have a collection of anything and we want to filter out uh, the uh, the results we can use link on those collections and the beauty of link is that we have uh, c-sharp syntax and we will write the c-sharp language to uh, write our queries uh, it's not like this that we like let's say for example if we are querying databases uh, we normally uh, write SQL query and that SQL query is executed uh, on the SQL engine and we don't, know, we don't know at the time of design when we are writing a query that either this query will be successful or not or either are, are we going to have any syntax errors with the queries or not but with the link at the time of design when we are writing the code we know that how we can use the uh, query and write the query and similarly with the help of uh, C sharp language let's say for example in this example this name is of type string and I can use all the methods available in the C sharp language construct as uh, uh, with, the, with the string type and I can use those methods to further uh, filter out the results and they actually help me to with all the, all the C sharp types and I can write my queries in a very much flexible way so let's see and learn the very basics of link that how we can write the link link is not specific to WPF it's not specific to console or the web application that we can build with the help of .NET technology link can be used uh, in any type of language uh, in any any type of uh, supported language uh, by the Microsoft and link can be used in any type of language that you build or you develop uh, with the help of .NET Framework because link is a feature of .NET Framework and it was introduced in 2007 in .NET Framework version 3.5 uh, let's uh, look at the simplest example of link that why we need link and how this link can help us to make our life easier when we develop something and we query something one important thing is link is language integrated query so we actually query the collection so just like uh, we write SQL queries so SQL queries are used for queuing databases uh, to filter out the results so which means that one thing is confirmed that link is used on the collections so collection can be homogeneous heterogeneous user defined collections uh, it can be integer type and string type and the complex types as well link can also be used on uh, databases link can also be used on XML link even can be used on file systems as well so whenever we have a collection we can use link so let's look at the simplest example of link on uh, uh, integer types so I'll create uh, an array of uh, numbers of uh, uh, integer and uh, let's add some random numbers in this list so 
so this is our uh, uh, list of uh, integers or i can say this is not list this is actually array which is uh, uh, of uh, uh, fixed lengths and uh, list is uh, is a is a more uh, complex type in dot net framework so let's uh, uh, consider that this nums is a collection so if i ask you that uh, i want to find out all the numbers in the list which are let's say greater than 2 and less than 100 so what we typically do is we uh, write a loop let's say for example for each loop or for loop uh, and uh, we normally do is that we we will see the length and we will iterate through these uh, numbers like this and uh, we compare that if this number is greater than uh, 2 and this number is this number is less than 100 or equal to 100 so I say the console dot uh, right line nums i right so uh, in this uh, case I will write this uh, typical uh, style that we use in all the languages that we need to start from the first index and I go to the last index and I find out all the numbers and uh, if you see on console I am getting or uh, retrieving all the numbers uh, how about if I want you to uh, give me the numbers which are greater than 2 and less than 100 in a sorted order and I want distinct numbers. Uh, if I want to get the maximum number of this list we can also use the uh, option over here with the max method and also main method and we also have an average method so we can get the average of these numbers. So queuing the data is one way that we typically start from the first and we will go uh, till the end. Uh, with the help of link what we can do is we can like uh, SQL style syntax and with the SQL style syntax we can uh, get the results according to our condition that we apply. So we use uh, from keyword and with the with the help of from keyword we select the collection and uh, we iterate through and we put the clause so simplest sq uh, simplest link statement can be let's say for example i can use uh, var which is a generic type of uh, .NET and this can be converted depending upon the result so let's call it result and uh, from and in nums and select n so link statement always starts with the from keyword and ends at the select and between from and end i can put my conditions and the clauses and the where clause as well and also other such as order by and so on so this is a query like syntax and this is a language integrated which means that I am not writing SQL query. I am actually writing a C sharp syntax that is supported through the systems dot link namespace. You see that it was not used before and now it recognized that I am using link over here. And uh, I need to specify the collection over here. In this case this is a homogeneous collection of numbers and uh, in this collection we have all the numbers and this can be a heterogeneous the mixed type and any collection that has a, a lot of data and uh, from n is actually n would be used for the each each element in the number and i can put a condition on this n and uh, we select all the n's that actually filter out from this collection in this case we are not using any filtering we are just writing a simple uh, link statement in which we are curing the nums and we are selecting all the numbers and we are just getting the result so re result and after the result i can iterate through that result with the help of for each loop and in this case we have a collection because uh, we don't know that either we get uh, either this query will give me a single element 
no element or like several elements and i can let's say console dot right line and i can print out the items so i will get the result and i will iterate through the result and i will print the result on this and you see that we are getting the numbers over here like this so in this way so how about if i want to add some more filtering on this let's say for example if i want to add some uh, clauses over here so i can use where clause uh, supported in link and the, the language integration option uh, that C sharp supports this so that I can use because this is the number so I can use the comparison operators I can use the arithmetic operators and other operators in my query so let's say for example if I say that I want all the numbers which are greater than 2 so this will return me all the numbers although we have all the numbers greater than 2 so let's uh, make it 100 so it will return the all the numbers which are greater than 100 it has returned 822 and 776 which are greater than 100 we can also make for uh, further more conditions we can combine this let's say for example i can say that uh, all the numbers greater than uh, 2 and all the numbers which are greater less than 100 and let's say for example i don't want uh, any number from this let's say for i don't want 5 so I say that n must not be equal to 5 and in this way I can uh, put my condition uh, when I'm curing this uh, sample collection so I am getting all the numbers which are greater than 2 and less than 100 and we see that 5 is missing in this list so we don't have 5 over here uh, the result that we got we can also do some more on this let's say for example after the query now I can use that result and do some more thing let's say for the console dot right line to re result dot because result itself is a collection I can find out what is which which number is the maximum number similarly I can see that which number is the minimum number and I can see the, what's the average of these numbers so now I am applying this on the result not on the whole list so all the number which are greater than 2 and less than 100 and uh, 5 is not included which number is the max which number is the min normally what we do is that we sort them and then uh, after the sorting we say that the first number or the index at the first number is the minimum and uh, the last number would be the maximum but i don't need to do the sorting and now for 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 average i can use this uh, method for the average so max main and average and i can uh, uh, write a statement let's say max so that I can see clearly so we have max is 88 minimum is 3 and average is 14.2 so we, this is the simplest example of link on uh, numbers and uh, we can do more things on this let's say for example uh, uh, I want to uh, order by order by n and uh, in this case uh, uh, this is a typical SQL style order by statement and you see that the results that I'm getting is in the sorted order like this and similarly I can also do more things on this uh, order by n let's say descending 
so in this case i will get the result sorted in descending order so we have the smallest number over here and we have a greater number over here and the smallest so it will sorted in descending for better visibility i have added uh, uh, a label and uh, i'm using a string builder and uh, with the help of string builder object i'm appending lines and uh, in the end i'm uh, changing the content of the label so that i don't need to go into the console window scroll up and see the things so i can use this as a log and uh, i see uh, what's the output another way of uh, or the alternate way of the link is the lambda expression so lambda expression is also widely used but uh, link expression is recommended by microsoft because it's uh, readable and clearly you can see that what's happening inside my query so let's look at the lambda expression and see how it works i can uh, comment out this and we'll see that how we can use lambda expression so with the collections uh, in dot net uh, by default you see uh, many methods available with the arrays and the, with the list and all these methods are also uh, can be used with the lambda expression let's say for example i can use directly a where clause and uh, in where clause it uh, accepts a predicate which is which can be a lambda expression function and uh, it returns uh, i enumerable uh, of type uh, integer and i enumerable is uh, an interface in which that uh, supports the enumeration and uh, i can iterate through the elements and all other uh things i can do so almost all collections implement the i enumerable interface and uh, similarly by default it's implemented in the arrays as well so whenever i query i get i enumerable which means that uh, it's not necessary that i use a generic type of uh, var that can store anything i can use i enumerable type of integer we sometimes use this once we are pretty much sure that the result would be of type integer in complex uh, uh, structure of uh, let's say for example database databases we are using relational databases and the result could be uh, like heterogeneous collections it's not necessary that result would be of single type so in this and in that case in that case we will not be able to use this but in this case we know that the result would be always of type integer list so let's get back to the where clause in the where we can uh, pass on the predicate and predicate is a lambda expression in which that every object or every element would be represented by the number that can be x that can be n anything uh, and uh, i can put a condition over here let's say n is greater than 2 or i can just copy and paste the condition from here in this way and i'm done and uh, after that i can iterate through the result and i can do the same thing and I, i can append and see what the result i get so i'm getting the same result and uh, this expression is uh, uh, giving the same result to uh, perform the order by i can also do that let's say for example i can use the order by function and uh, i'm not specifying any specific filter over here so in this case order by also accepts uh, as for the lambda expression so let's say for example i am returning the same number and i am not putting any condition over here when i am returning the result so this is uh, in the order like this and uh, similarly i can use order by descending as well uh, to get the result in descending order and like this 
I can also bring it down like this and this is in the descending order I can let's say for example uh, uh, bring the dis distinct numbers I don't want the repeating numbers I can also do this with the help of distinct and uh, this is just the function that will uh, sort out the elements uh, which are repeating and it will remove the elements and will not repeat the numbers so it's in descending order and uh, descending elements which are uh, greater than 2 less than 105 is not included so if I remove this if I remove this I will be having 5 as well in the list so 5 is 2 times now 5 will be 1 time only so here it is 5 so that's how we can also use the lambda expression and uh, in some places you will find when queuing uh, with the help of link you will find the lambda expression and in some cases you will find the this type of uh, SQL style expression which is typically link expression. So this was link and lambda expression on uh, number types. So let's do this uh, on the string type as well. So I will just uh, move this code into a separate function so that you can later on uh, experiment this. So I will create another function and I will put this over there. Link on integer, let's see. And uh, I will use the string builder and uh, Let's create a string type of uh, list or uh, it can be array as well. So let's take list this time. So I'm creating a list of type string. Let's say for example names. And uh, I will create a list of type string. And uh, let's add some names in the list. Let's say so it's not JavaScript. So So this is uh, just a simple list and I can use or I can create uh, let's say in this uh, this time I will uh, get the result in I enumerable type of string let's say for example this is my result of the query result and I will use link and I'll say that each name is let's say for example an N in names collection and select all the names and I will iterate through this collection which is result and I can actually use string because I know each item is of type string so I can also use var I can also use string and uh, I say that uh, its name in the list and I will use string builder and I will append line and I will append the name and also I will concatenate this dot content and this is string so if I run this one I will get a list of names like this and now I can do or apply the query expression and if I press control spacebar this is the uh, these are the options that I can use inside this uh, link I will we will discuss uh, some of these we have discussed the order by uh, we will discuss the join and group and when we will discuss working with the databases and uh, uh, let's put where clause and the beauty of link is that because n is of type string right and all the string related operations are available let's say for example index of uh, 
starts with ends with and all the methods which are available in c sharp as a string construct they are accessible inside link and at the design time i know that my my query has no issue and uh, if i am having a syntax error or not um, what kind of result i am going to expect after uh, the execution of this query so that is a very nice feature of this link that uh, at the design time when i'm writing the code i know what's going to happen and i see there what kind of result i'm going to expect and the most importantly that i'm not going to get any syntax error at the run time because when we when we like when we when we write sql uh, sql statement might have some errors but the link will tell you when you are writing the query that either you are writing the right syntax or not so let's say for example i am looking for uh, all the names which uh, start with uh, let's say for example a or uh, let's uh, or that contains some specific specific character let's say for example uh, all the name that contains let's say for example o so i will get this and uh, i can also order by n as well so it will look for all the names which contain o so these are only two names and you see that they are also sorted uh, so bankston starts with b and j starts with john and in the list uh, john comes first and Banks bankston is after that so which means that it's also sorting in uh, descending or uh, ascending order by default if i want to do descending i can do that and uh, i can uh, apply this uh, condition as well and uh, i can uh, apply and use other uh, available methods and properties with the string let's say for example if i say that i want names which are less than or equal to uh, five characters or five letters So I will just get the names which are uh, equal to or less than five letters and they are sorted in the order. So that's how we can uh, use a link on uh, other types as well. And that is the collection. Let's apply a link on the user defined uh, types or the list of classes. So first I will move this piece of code into a separate function. link on strings let's say and uh, i will need string builder so i will just keep this one over here so let's create a class so i copied a class over here in that list so so here is a class where uh, uh, it has a name property and age property of type integer and it has a session of a student uh, or uh, this can be anything let's say for example this can be a city enumerator so i can say or the country so let's say for example usa uk So these are the uh, countries and uh, we have a property for a country and uh, uh, we need to create a list of uh, these objects student objects so I can create a list of student object let's suppose uh, call it student list new list and uh, in each uh, list item would be a student object so having three properties name for example and age and country so country is an enumerator so i will have, have a list of enumerators and i will select any one of these 
and similarly I will create another object of student and uh, he is from uh, having different age from different country let's say for example okay and there is another student that is of some different age and different country so these are three objects we have created inside the list and list is having a three now we are going to apply or use link on the list of uh, type student so let's see how we can do this let's add link on uh, this uh, student list so let's call it result I will uh, say that uh, one object is a uh, let's suppose s is the object represented by uh, a student object or uh, in the list of students so this is our list or the collection select s so this is the simplest example of uh, link that we can apply on the list of students and uh, I can iterate through from the collection and uh, the collection is result in this case and I can use that string builder to append as a append line in the string and uh, I can specify the string value over here so item dot because item is the object of uh, uh, student so I can say that name and maybe age of the student let's say for example item dot age and also let's say for example I want to print the country so item dot country which is an enumerator and I will add this into our label which is output label so uh, content so if I run this so it will uh, just select the entire list and uh, will return the complete list without uh, doing any filtration in the list and this is the list that I get I have the names and the age and so on and uh, if let's say for example I want to filter out something the interesting thing is that because each uh, s is the object of uh, a student type so I can uh, uh, choose any of the options methods and the properties available with the student object so let's say for example I want to say that I want to see uh, all the students having age less than or equal to 20 so uh, if you see that you have a 25 20 and 24 age so let's say for example if I say less than or equal to 20 I will get uh, only one student one student from the list like this and similarly if I say that if I want to use the country in numerator and I want to compare that I want to see only students from USA I can search or filter out like this in the where clause and all the students will be returned from this so in this case we have only one student and uh, let's rename or change it from uh, UK to USA and uh, in this case I will get two students from the list and similarly if I want to say that before we were using order by uh, order by n let's say for example in this case we were using order by n uh, because it was uh, just uh, a string or the number type but in this case we have an object so I want to see that on in which order I want to use the sorting mechanism so let's say for example I want to order them by the name so uh, it will sort the list based on the name so Ahmed was uh, appearing later on in this uh, list 
and now we have uh, this Ahmed and uh, John over here and uh, we see that we have uh, this one from Pakistan and this one from USA we have this one object from the USA as well and similarly we can use that the important and interesting thing is that we can uh, choose the property let's say for example if I choose the name name is of type string so all the string operations are available in the link over here let's say for example I want to see or find out the name which actually starts with and let's say contains a letter let's say E so all the names having E letter would be returned and will be sorted in the uh, with respect to the name so we have two names uh, containing e letter in it and their details are printed because I'm iterating through last thing that I want to mention over here that this query does not execute until and unless I access it or I call it so this is just a reference or the assignment that is made inside the result it it does not execute the query at this stage uh, it executes the query as soon as I access the result so this is the important thing that we need to remember uh, when we are working with link so uh, that's all about the uh, link we discuss about the basic link uh, on the integer type we discuss the link about uh, performing link on the string type and we also discuss the link on the user defined types that is the class of student and uh, having different properties and how we can use link uh, on this so that's all about the basics of uh, the link and we will move on on to some complex uh, topics such as working with the databases with the help of link